So I met a man tonight who is en route from New Hampshire to Arizona, and he said that every time he stops for gas, he sees one of these stickers. Different variations, all with the same theme. This one has former President Trump pointing to the price with the caption, Biden did that. I take off five, five or six a day from our different pumps. I got one here, is the I did that, and then they put it by the pump, and it's supposed to be, I guess, that Joe, President Biden is causing the gas to go up. The little stickers on gas pumps all across the country illustrate the American people know exactly whose fault this is. If you have pumped gas in the past year, you may have seen one of these stickers blaming President Biden for the cost of gas at the pump. Republicans have done an incredibly good job of convincing Americans that the surge in gas prices that followed the start of the war in Ukraine was somehow Joe Biden's fault, despite the fact that Biden granted more oil and gas drilling permits than Trump did in the first two years of his presidency, and the fact that Biden released more oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve than has ever been released before. Republicans really could not stop talking about gas prices last year, which is part of what makes their relative silence today so deafening. Today, ExxonMobil's earnings report showed that last year was its most profitable year ever. So while Americans were hurting at the pump and Republicans were blaming Joe Biden, the oil and gas company was lining its pockets to the tune of $55.7 billion in profit. Last week, Chevron announced that it also had its largest profit ever last year. $36.5 billion. Again, that is profit, not revenue. And what are these gas companies doing with these record profits? At least in Chevron's case, it has been announced that it will be doing $75 billion of stock buybacks for shareholders. Perhaps somebody should put that on a sticker.